Hey guys, so I have some good news. I'm back home in Florida um, after flying overnight uh, on the red eye and I ha my news is incredible because I've said many times and you might have picked up on it if you watched other videos I have a thing for not fitting my fat ass into um, airplane seats. So last night it was a full plane. Uh, I had a connection LA to Charlotte, Charlotte to Tampa. And the LA to Charlotte was four and a half hour flight and it was full. So I knew I was going to have somebody sitting next to me, which is the worst. So I flew home alone. And it's such an uncomfortable thing to be spilling into somebody's space on an airplane. Because there's nothing you can do. I've, and, you know, it's overnight flight, so people are sleeping. Who knows if I'm snoring or my arm falls on, you know. It was this little skinny black dude, and he slept the whole time, which was, I was lucky. He was this little skinny guy. But um, when I sat down, I fit in the seat. It's been a week. When I flew to El Paso to go have my surgery, I didn't fit in the seat. I kind of had to tilt myself to the side because I was too wide. Exact same plane. Uh, so in a week's time, I fit into an airplane seat. I was this close to being able to buckle the seatbelt without having to get an extension. I was so disappointed when, when the flight attendant was like, you need to buckle that. And I'm like, damn it, give me an extension. But I'm feeling really good. Um, I bought some apple juice. Uh, you have to make sure you get the really pure stuff um, because the, most of the times they add sugar. And I made some crystal light, so I'll be drinking some of that as an alternate to water just to have a little bit of flavor in my life. Uh, still drinking my nectar uh, protein powder, which I'm getting sick of because it's like thick, or it's like it's like cloudy vanilla flavored water. So it's, it's good, but you know, you can only do so much of that. And I'm doing it four times a day, so I get a, a, almost 100 grams of protein, which is great. Uh, I'm ahead of myself with that. But I am feeling great, man. I'm, uh, I still have some pain, you know, my, where my incisions are. Um, two of them are m more painful than the others, for sure. The two center ones. But, um, you know, as far as real pain goes, not bad at all. If I get hungry, I have a glass of water or some chicken broth uh, or some sugar-free jello or one of my shakes, um, you know. And I start on the new phase tomorrow, which is um, the thicker liquids I can have. So that's kind of cool. I'm excited about that. So we'll see how my stomach handles it though. We'll see how cool my stomach thinks it is. But I'm excited for it mentally to know that I can eat something with a little bit of substance. So, and then a week after that I start with like fish and ve vegetables and things like that. So, I I'm really excited. Um, it's a new phase in my life. I am not ever going to be fat again. That's, I'm fat now. Still, I, I have lost 11 or 12 pounds since my surgery and I think, you know, I'm thin. I feel so thin. And then I'll walk by a window and see my reflection. I'm like, damn, I'm still I'm still fat as hell. You know, my belly's sticking out, my clothes are sloppy. It's like but I feel like a rail. So um and again, every video I gotta say, belightweight.com has been amazing. Websites on the screen. They have helped me so much. I got an email today, welcome home. Uh, your, congratulations on your surgery. Here's a reminder of your diet uh, with some great tips on things to avoid, like um, taking bites and not chewing them well enough. Uh, I had a, I ordered some in the airport, so I was there for like five hours on a delay. I ordered some vegetable soup with no vegetables in it. I had them strain the broth out. So there were a couple little things in there, like little remnants. And I'm serious, like not something you, the size of something you pick out of your teeth. And I swallowed it, and my stomach was crazy. So now I'm aware of what I need to not do, because that was unsettling and it didn't feel good. So I'm glad to be back home uh, on my way. I, I feel relieved to be here because I was supposed to be at my in-laws until Wednesday. And you know what? I just wasn't comfortable. I didn't have a routine. I didn't 
feel set, which I think is really important. Um, it was a mistake to go there, not because of them. They were great. The house, their house is beautiful. Um, my wife's still there. She's coming on Wednesday. I just needed to be home. I needed to be in the place where I'm going to be doing my recovery, and I needed to get set up. I needed to get going. I needed to be established, and I am starting to do that today um, after some rest and seeing my dogs who are playing here, of course. So... Anyway, thank you. I will see you tomorrow. It's going to be an everyday thing for us. So I hope uh, you'll be back tomorrow and checking me out, and we'll go from there. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah.